This isn't your typical Saturday at MSUM's Nemzik Fieldhouse. There's not the usual basketball or volleyball game. On this day, the court is filled with dancers, drummers, and families from all over Minnesota for the annual powwow. This year, the powwow has a special guest, Dr. Caitlin Johnson. During my childhood, it was always encouraged by my parents to have cultural ties. I got to learn jingle dress dancing, and it was a great experience as a child because for me, it was much more than that physical exercise. It was more of that spiritual connection and knowing that I was part of something bigger. This is the first year that Kaylin had danced for almost 20 years. After quitting in middle school, she has spent many years focusing on other obligations. As a high school student, you know, being a, an athlete year-round, it was hard to find my dance again. As I got older, um, I found that it was harder and harder to get my regalia. Caitlin says many things encouraged her to start dancing again. One reason was that the powwow she once helped plan as a student was now being hosted at the same school where she now teaches. To me, it was just kind of the stars aligned um, and, you know, as one of the few Native faculty members at MSUM, I wanted that representation there. For Caitlin, what also makes this year's powwow special is that she's passing on this tradition to the next generation, her son Sage. Because I realize, realize the drum represents our nation because we usually use it for a lot of powwows. This year's powwow ignited the flame within Caitlin as she continues her passion of jingle dress dancing for as long as she can. With photographer Chris Hovden, Katherine Wolkowski, Campus News.